everyone, my name's Amanda and I'm kind of new here. So what's going on today is we're trying out some Dollar Tree makeup. Woo! Saving some money. I'm a big fan. Um, so, I, I gotta be honest, and my nose is so itchy, I'm sorry. I gotta be honest with you, not everything is from the Dollar Tree, but a good amount is. So, I'm just gonna be out front and honest with you. One, there it is. The first thing we had to use that is not from Dollar Tree is the L'Oreal Lumi. I was unable to find a primer at Dollar Tree. So I did a little research and a little bit of playing around because I've been doing this for about a week and said, you know what? What I need to use up actually works perfectly. Yes. All right, and so the next thing we had to do is an eyeshadow primer. I didn't have one. I didn't uh, from Dollar Tree. I didn't even know. I was like, oh, I could use foundation or I could use concealer. Well, there was no concealer. And the foundation I thought was best just to use as foundation. So I needed to use it anyway. Yes. <laughs> so I have the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. Might as well. I and I kind of got to the uh, idea, came to the idea of doing all this with what I have in the house because going to the Dollar Tree is all about saving money. All right. The next thing I had to do is a lip liner because the lipstick I have is an e.l.f. moisturizing lipstick and it kind of shifts. And so I chose to use a lip liner that I had in my collection, which is the Palladio uh, lip liner. And there you go. It's a sharpener, one that you sharpen. And uh, it's in the color Cabernet, which actually is still doing this it's working quite well four hours in and then next thing okay the last thing <laughs> is the Milani make it last as far as products that go on my face those are the ones that are not from Dollar Tree but in the uh, vein of using what I got let's eat, let's do it right so let's get started uh, I am at Hour four, by the way, give you an idea. I put it on about 130, 150, something like that. It is now 555, so we are at the four hour mark. Yes, I am a little oily. Honestly, I'd be a lot, oil I'd be a little oily anyway. But I gotta tell you, the pigmentation from the cheeks that I will that I have on and the eyeshadow amazing I'm thoroughly impressed so we are going to go back in time and watch me get ready we'll see you guys soon This is my puppy Wally, and uh, we are just getting done with it at the dog park. And I thought I'd let you know I did get a cup of coffee on the way, and I did use a lip liner with this lipstick. And uh, I don't know if you could tell, but yeah, it moves. So yeah, Wally saying, "Hey, mom, it's cold. Time to go." But hey, you guys have a good day, because uh, we have. Have you guys had a good day? Because we have. That's what I meant to say. All right, we'll talk. Check in later. Bye. Hey everyone, my name's Amanda. You know that. 
because you've been here the whole video if you made it this far, right? So anyway, I just want to go quick go over what I have on my face currently and give you my quick uh, reviews of it as I tell you about it. Um, currently, these two things, the eyeshadows, have my thumbs up. I have the LA Colors and Purple. Oh my goodness, they're high-end um, brands that don't get purple right. Yeah, now I've used this, I've had this since summer, and it's wonderful. I gotta tell you, um, the pink here is a lot soft, but these two colors, they make a, for a really a, a easy look. It's a nice trio. Um, another thing I have, that I used for my highlight is the LA Colors uh, Loose Eyeshadow. I used this in Radiant. However, I also have it in Sunshine. Now, the reason why I have it in Sunshine is it's a dupe for Trophy Wife from Fenty. Love it. Um, then this here is an e.l.f. smudge pot. Now, I forgot I already swatched it on my hand. So, here it is. And, goodness sakes, I love it. That's what I tapped on my lids. Uh, the next things I'm going to go over, so far, we're at Winners. I'm going to start out with Winners. Uh, the LA Colors, that is the blush in Toasted. That is a winner. Uh, as well as the bronzer and baked. Now be careful when you're using this. Do not dig in too deep because they are some pigmented stuff. And uh, hey, I like it. <laughs> uh, I have both of those swatched right next uh, to um, the smudge pot. Next, I'm going to swatch. The next swatch at the bottom is the lipstick in um, flirty flamingo now if you are the type of person who likes who needs a break from, from matte lipsticks that are drying you out well that's great uh, one thing I would suggest is using a lip liner because that puppy moves um, another thing I am just thrilled with is oh, that wasn't supposed to be knocked over. This. This is the Locked On Liner from e.l.f. in medium brown. It is also a brow product. Now, uh, this here is what I used. This is not a Dollar Tree find, but it's like two or three dollars at Walmart or, or less. It is the um, eyeshadow duo brush. One side, spoolie. The other side, is a little angled brush perfect uh, another win in my opinion is the pressed powder I did not care for the little applicator that came with it I've been playing with these th products all week and so I am well aware of the stuff that goes with it uh, but this here it's wonderful today I didn't use enough of it I didn't touch up my makeup because I wanted to give you an idea of how long everything lasted um, and after a trip to the dog park well I was just happy there was anything there um, the things that I'm not super crazy about the elf mascara not my favorite brand not my favorite formula but it works so we're going in the middle right and same with the uh, eyeliner it is just a normal run-of-the-mill um, autom automatic twist up uh, eyeliner it's still on my eyes it's now 909 so you know yay on uh, longevity but mm, nothing to write home about it's just okay to me. It's not, but that's just me. The one thing that disappointed me the most, well, one of the two, 
One of the two things that disappointed me the most. Three things. Three. The LA Colors Mascara. I put it on. I didn't see anything. I think what it works best for is combing out your eyelashes. But hey. And also, I feel lucky that I was able to get two colors that worked for me. The lighter of the two colors uh, I had to use as um, concealer under my eyes and the darker of the colors, uh, so it's the lighter color was true beige and the darker color is creamy beige. Um, they worked well for my skin tone. The creamy beige was a really good skin match. I am not complaining about the color. I'm just saying it's not really my favorite formula. Not maybe if I powdered it or uh, yeah, that would might be. Now the one thing I'm just going to tell you, don't waste your dollar. I know it's only a dollar. Don't waste your money. This beauty sponge. That is just not good. I've tried it all week. I've washed it. I would run it, run it under hot water trying to get it to get bigger and meh. S if Make the investment. Get yourself a real technique sponge. They're not that... M well, okay. If you're in a position where $20 could be a million dollars, it just is equally unattainable. I get it. Um, I would say use your fingers. I really just didn't like this sponge. In fact, that's going in the garbage as soon as this video is done. Um, however, not all the tools are bad. I'm going to tell you, I have gotten all of these brushes. Most of them, all but the black one, <laughs> are from, uh, Wet and Wild, the black one is e.l.f. These brushes are fantastic. I would spend way more than a dollar, but I am super glad that I don't have to. Um, actually, if you have, I have tried this with a this and my fingers, and I found that the um, foundation did apply best with a brush. I just didn't have one for the video, so from Dollar Tree for my foundation. But um, yeah, so here's what I'm gonna tell you is, use a primer if you're using the foundation. Uh, look at the ingredients and see if they play nice. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of silicone in it, so silicone, probably not the best choice. Uh, I found for what I have in my collection, the Magic Lumi works best um, with the shadows I would also suggest using a primer, powder, if you have any oil when using these foundations. I don't know if I'll use them again because it, it just didn't seem right for my skin. However, everything else is a win. I loved all of these powder products, so I highly suggest hitting up the Dollar Tree and take a look. You're out nothing but what, a dollar? I think it's a worthy investment. Now, you guys have a great day and uh, I'm gonna go get ready for bed. <laughs> Bye.